welcome to Body Scope by Karen, Fitness from the Inside Out. I've been in the health and fitness industry for the past 20 years. I'm a personal trainer and a yoga instructor. My guest on today's show is hypnotist Priscilla Carisey. She's an amazing hypnotist. She's going to talk about ways we can change our bodies, our minds, and just change the quality of our lives. We'll be right back. So sitting right here with me is Priscilla Carisey, an amazing woman. How are you doing today, hey, Priscilla? Hey, oh, I'm great. It's very nice to be here. Thanks for having me on your show. Aww. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I love her. Um, Priscilla is a hypnotist. Correct. Yep. Okay. Priscilla, can you tell us what hypnosis is? Yeah, you know, it's easier for me to tell you what hypnosis is not. It's not Hollywood. It's not trance. It's not somebody picking up a phone and saying a magic word and you're, you're compelled to go out and rob a bank or act like an idiot or something like this. Hypnosis is using the power of your own mind to create a change in your body, in your habits, any change that you want to make in your life. Um, to, to, uh, you can improve your health, you can, you can manage pain. Uh, women have used hypnosis for pain-free childbirth. I mean, the, 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 the ways that a person can use hypnosis for improvement and positive change are, are way too numerous to mention. So you treat a vast, hypnosis can treat a vast array exactly. of, of any, any subjects, any Absolutely. type of person, anyone. Any, anything that a person wants to change in their own life can be changed with hypnosis. Most of my clients come to me for quitting smoking or losing weight. That's generally, the, the, that's the bulk of who my like clients that. are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the misconception of hypnosis? That you lose control of your mind when you're talking with a hypnotist, that the hypnotist actually is going into your mind and doing something magical or mystical and, and you, your personality might change or you, you've totally lost control of the process. Hypnosis, in fact, is gaining control of one's own mind because all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. Nobody can be hypnotized against their will, ever. It's absolutely impossible. Nobody can be made to do something they don't want to do. It's really... It's mind control, but it's a person taking control of their own mind to affect yes. a positive change. Okay, okay. Um, and anyone can do this. Anybody can do Anybody it. Can it doesn't do matter how old you are. It doesn't matter um, um, it, it, man or woman. It doesn't matter wh whether you you're, have a certain religious belief or not. It's using the power of your own thoughts and beliefs to create change. And the only people who can't be hypnotized are people who... Uh, uh, aren't motivated, they don't want to change, or they refuse to believe that, that, that it can help them. Nobody can be forced into hypnosis or into a, hypnosis, into a hypnotic state, so you really have to come to the process with an open mind and understanding of what it is and willing and motivated to, to do the mental work. One more question. So they say our thoughts create. They create our reality. They mm -hmm. create... Um, what happens inside of our body, they, yep. it's, it's our thoughts. So hypnosis, that. that goes deeper than, yes. than that, yes? Right. That's right. In the subconscious mind is where our beliefs and our habits are. And we can affect change at that level um, really most effectively, most efficiently through using our thoughts to make that change or using our thoughts to, to do self-hypnosis. But you're absolutely right. The moment a person has a thought about their body or a belief about their body, the body begins to play that out. We're born with a natural set of instructions, of course. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, sleep when you're tired. Uh, I don't think I know anybody who stops when they're full or eats only when they're hungry <laughs> with busy schedules and that type of right. thing. So we really very easily program our bodies to do or not do certain things. If you want to change your body, if you want to feel better, if you want to be motivated to exercise, uh, if you want to make better choices when you're eating, hypnosis is a great place to start and, and it's going to offer the most lasting and permanent change. I see it all the time in my business. I do believe that. I absolutely believe that. Can I show you something? Can I show you a demonstration? Sure. Yeah, of how the, on of me? How, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, this yeah. is how, um, well this is a really immediate way to see how okay. thoughts and beliefs can immediately begin to create change in the body once a person accepts the power of their mind. So I'd like you to just close your eyes for a moment. I'm not going to make you do anything crazy. <laughs> you know just, I love this stuff. I know. <laughs> just close your eyes for okay. just a second. Now I'm going to ask you to use your imagination. Your imagination, by the way, is in your subconscious mind. So I'd like you to use your imagination. 
and I'd like you to pretend or imagine that you have the ability to relax your eyelids so completely that even if you were to try to open them just for a moment, it would be impossible. I want you to pretend like a little girl might, that your eyelids are stuck shut and even though you try, 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 they're impossible to open and when you know that the harder you try, the more relaxed they become. I want you to go ahead and test. Try really, really hard knowing that even you might find your eyebrows pulling up. Give them a really good, strong pull. Really test yourself. They're fluttering. All right, good. I, okay, I, now it, just it, relax and open your eyes. It happens immediately. Yep. Now here's what happened. You bypass the conscious mind, the rational mind that says, oh, of course I can open my eyes. Well, you know you can open your eyes anytime you want to. But you moved from the conscious, rational thinking part of the mind over to the imaginative part of the mind. That's the subconscious mind. The moment you decide or pretend to accept a belief about something like that, your body does it. There's absolutely no delay. So the moment you decided to pretend your <coughs> eyelids were too relaxed to open, your body had to do it. There was absolutely no delay. Did you lose control of your mind at any time? N none whatsoever. So can you imagine if a person sits quietly for a moment, a couple of moments every day, or as you're falling asleep or as you're waking up in the morning, eyes closed, says, I only eat when I'm hungry. I always stop when I'm full. I really enjoy healthy, good tasting foods. And we continually convince the body with our thoughts, as you mentioned earlier, the body begins to embrace those new concepts and make them our second nature. And that is why hypnosis is almost effortless in the changes that are affected. Like reprogramming the mind. Exactly, exactly what it is. <clears throat> but you are, I could not force you to make that, to pretend that your eyelids couldn't open. You had no. to choose and be motivated I, absolutely. To, to do the same thing. So this is why all hypnosis, the power is in our own hands. It felt like I wanted to open them, but they didn't. It was like I was, in a split right. second, they were fighting each other. And I and think you that's were allowing we, yourself. Right, right. I didn't allow it. Right. Because of what I had in my mind. Right. And I think we all go through that in certain things. With that's right. uh, with smoking, with eating habits. Sure. We struggle with that. It, and it's basically simple and, it's and and let me tell you one other way that we program our minds and it's it's we don't even realize we're doing it. But when we repeat something to ourselves over and over again, it becomes second nature, it gets embedded in the subconscious mind and then we act from that belief. I see so many people who eat very well, who, who exercise every day, but every day they get on the scale and they say, oh boy, am I fat. And when you tell your body, I'm fat, I'm fat every single day, guess what? The Absolutely. body is only doing what it's told. Absolutely. I agree. I, I, I've experienced that myself yep. and I've had many, many clients, many experiences with people. And as I know you that you, same. as in training your clients, you, mo you motivate them, you, you help them to keep their thoughts focused on, on the positive, on the, on the end result, keep their eyes on the prize, so to speak, really stay focused on who they're going to be and where they're going right. rather than I, bogged down in, in the present. I have a perfect example. I have clients that I've trained years ago and they still say to me, your voice is in my head every time I go to grab that cookie or every yeah. time I'm on the <laughs> treadmill or something, nice. right? And, no, that's, making a, yeah. and that's the transition and that's what happens with the hypnosis. It's, yeah. it, it's I'm a little up in the air now about what type of cardio I might do. And um, I have a concern, I, I, well, I feel generally in good shape. Because and I, and I you are, out, yes. Thank you, five days a week. Um, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I want to make, I, I, I'd like to target the backs of my arms, I think. And, and you have such beautiful, slender arms. Oh, thank and really you. Really nicely defined biceps and triceps. And that's something that I would like to target. Could you show me how to do that? Absolutely. Oh, good. good. I'm delighted. So we're going to take a moment. And when we come back, I'm going to show Priscilla some specific exercises for her. Great. Oh, Great. thank you.